DJ ATV. Bad Boss lamented that Nigeria's economy will be grounded in the next nine months. Plus, Governor Masri says, Bandit are Fulani people, we know them. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you. Depending on the location you're watching us from, a very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update. The what's up channel where you get the latest and the best news all around the world. This is your first time of seeing any of our video. You take a step further, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to get notified each time we post a new video. Let's go straight up into the main news. Barista Olusha Bad Boss Esquire, a shifter of the new Nigerian People's Party NNPP, has cried out that Nigeria's economy might be grounded in the next nine months. He said this was bound to happen except there is an urgent economic intervention. He also noted that the economy was currently in a very bad shape due to poor management, adding that the president, Muhammad Buhari's government, has failed woefully to take necessary precautions to prevent it from nosediving. This has led us to where we are currently. A leader who is not well versed in modern economic trends and who lacks a sound economic team will perform poorly economically, Bad Boss told newsmen. Buhari's nonchalant attitude for foreign loan is alarming and the most unfortunate aspect of it all is that almost 30-35% to 35 of the loan are embezzled by politicians and government agencies. There cannot be any meaningful economic growth where corruption is massive and is the order of the day. That the Nigerian economy may collapse in the next nine months is never a false alarm but a factual one. It is on record that Nigeria's debt service to revenue ratio of 98% between January and May 2021. In essence, the federal government spent a whooping sum of 1.8 trillion on debt servicing in the first five months of the year representing about 98% of the total revenue generated in that same period. This is a very dangerous economic trend. This has indicated that our economy is not healthy and very unfortunate, we lack economic doctor to reverse the trend. The cursory look at the data revealed that the total aggregate revenue generated by the federal government between January and May 2021 stood at 1.84 trillion naira bearing it in mind that 1.8 trillion naira was used for servicing of debt this has revealed that 98 percent of our revenue goes for debt servicing this invariably suggests that the federal government led by president Muhammad Buhari, that more foreign loan is inevitable in the area of funding for capital projects this is the sad situation we have at hand. This has shown that our economic managers have failed us and the economy of Nigeria may in the nine months collapse. It is an understatement to state that our economy is sick because the reality on the ground is that the economy is gasping for breath and may soon enter a coma except something is done urgently. Meanwhile, on other news, the governor of Kasina State, Amin Ubelu Masori, said that the identity of bandits wrecking havoc in Nigeria, particularly the northern part of the country, are full of needs. The governor of President Muhammad Ubari's state of origin said the criminal elements who have plunged the entire nation into unusual security crisis are majorly Fulani X-Men. In a video we are about to watch, we saw Governor Masri making the claim. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. There are the same people like me who, who speak the same language like me, who profess the same religious beliefs like me. So what we have here on ground is bandits. 
They are not aliens. They are people we, we know. There are people that have been living with us for hundreds of years. Uh, the infiltration we have from some West African countries and North African countries are also people of the Fulani extraction. Majority of those involved in this uh, banditry are Fulanis, whether it is palatable or not, but that's the truth. I'm not saying 100% of them are Fulani, but the majority of them are. And these are people who live in the forest with the main occupation is rearing of cattle. Probably over time, uh, their fortunes dwindle uh, with the climate change, lack of access to education, both Islamically and Western, also aggravated the situation. The fall of uh, Gaddafi instability in many West and North African countries saw so the influx of arms and ammunition accompanied with illegal drugs and toxicants that polluted the environment and that made them what they are. And I think it is our responsibility to cure this. And uh, we in Katana, together with all the governors of Northwestern State, we are determined Welcome back. He also revealed that the elements have the same religion, language like himself, stressing that they have been living with us for hundreds of years. He said bandits are persons who speak the same language like me. They profess the same religious belief like me. These bandits are not aliens. They are people who we know. They are people that have been living with us for hundreds of years. The infiltration we are from some African countries and non-African countries are people of the Fulani extraction. Majority of those involved in these banditries are Fulanis. Whether it is believable or not, that is the truth. These are people who live in the forest and their major occupation is rearing of cattle. DJMTV News has said that reported that, like any other state in the northern part of Nigeria, Castina State has also witnessed high level of insecurity bettered by the activities of bandits who have consistently killed residents and have continued abducting others for ransom purposes. So guys, here we have it. We have seen the governor of Castina State coming out to say that um, the people who are bandits in Nigeria who have been causing us problems in this country who has been causing a lot of damage, killing people, ravaging communities are no other persons but the Fulani people because he said according to him they speak the same language like him they have the same belief like he does so they are all Fulani earth men according to the governor of Casina State he also said that those who are coming in from other countries to um, mastermind all these plants and air, the killings, the adoption and every other thing are full of extractions. They are full of extractions but they just went into other countries to live there and now they are coming back to cause a um, crisis in the country at the very moment. Now some Nigerians have come out to say that um, if Governor Masri uh, could come out to say that the people who are um, 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 killing adopting raping and making people homeless a fulani um extraction a fulani persons what is the president still waiting for before he can do the needful of course some nigerians have said that president Mohamed Bari has an agenda for nigeria he has a plan and until that plan is fulfilled he would not um, stop or relent or say anything. Why some Nigerians have said that uh, President Mamadou Buhari being silent over um, issues of um, security matters is a sign that he is um, the mastermind behind it. Also, we saw um, one of the chief signs of um, New Nigeria's people but talking about um, Chief Olusegun Bagbos. He has cried out that Nigeria's economy might be granted in the next nine months. He said this was bound to happen except urgent economic development or intervention is uh, put into place. And this is coming as a result of uh, so many debts uh, that Nigerians are into. And he said that President Mohamed Bouhari uh, is uh, someone who has borrowed a lot of money 
to finance Nigeria. And he said most of the, the, the money that is being borrowed uh, by Nigerian President uh, Muhammadu Buhari is spent mostly on politicians. It's used to pay politicians, used to buy um, cars for politicians, is spent by the politicians. Now the question is, how can Nigeria be debt free when corruption is the order of the day? He also noted that the economy was currently in a bad shape um, due to poor management, adding that Buhari government has failed woefully to take necessary precautions to prevent it from nose diving. Of course, when we have a leader who is not vast in modern economy trend, he will also perform poorly economically. Of course, some Nigerians have said that Buhari is not the kind of person who is supposed to rule Nigeria. But um, now he's a president, um, we, we just have to wait on the 2023 when his tenure or when he will leave office. So guys, what do you think, especially when Obama said Nigeria um, spent 1.8 trillion Naira just between January and May to service a debt that we, uh, uh, Nigeria is owing. That means Nigeria spent 98% of um, its revenue on financing or servicing debt, um, living on Nigeria with just 2% of its oil or of its revenue. That means that there is nothing left for um, uh, the states in Nigeria to um, feed from. Now, what do you say about this? What is your take on the debt ratio of Nigeria, especially in the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari? Of course, coming out to say that a bandit are full and headsmen, Governor Masri has made it clear. But what is your take about that? Do you um, stand with uh, Mastery on this or do you stand against him? Drop your comment in the comment section below. Do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube and also on Instagram. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Until we come your way next time, do not forget, this is DJ MTV Daily News Update. Thank you for watching till the end.